someone now. Debris. Lots, lots of debris in this box, but it's, it's a casket. Didn't sound good. Oh dear. Let's see if I could get this out. Ugh. this time. Untamed, ferocious your fingertips. Interesting. Goodness, there's a, a skull in here. Ah, never seen anything like it. A foot? And a, a hand. It's got me. Oh, it's got me. Hang on, the spray will actually make it look cooler. Rest in peace. So, so what do we got in here? There's, there's got to be something point to all this. And there it is. There is a point. It is an untamed boom. No wait, doom. Probably sprayed too much spray. Fingerlings. Dinosaur. Glow in the dark. It is all bones. That is pretty, pretty scary. I have never looked at Untamed before, so I thought, wow, this is a great, great thing to see from this casket that just mysteriously appeared in my garage. If you watch a lot of dual survival, these tools will come in handy when you're trapped in your garage. You can use this as a sort of a chisel to, to work your way out. Anyway, um, something else in here. Oh, what do we got? This is, all right, this is gloom. So we have gloom, 
and Doom to look at. We'll have to jump over to the table here in a second once I get my bearings straight. And really quick, there's also, looks like I think I found Bonesaw, who's more of a tiger-like fingerling. I've never seen Bonesaw before until today. That's pretty neat. And uh, oh, something fell down on the floor here. Looks like, looks like it's a dinosaur. Another one, but with skin. Rip saw, like a red one. That's pretty neat too. Anything else in this? Oh, there's, there's something else. Oh, there's some sort of jail, little prison. An untamed T-Rex jailbreak toy. That's pretty incredible too. Wow. I'll have to look at that a little closer. The rest is all bones. Oh, no, no. We've got this casket here. And it's a wooden casket. And it's full of some sort of bone candy. Creepy. So yeah, that was unexpected in the archives today. Really unexpected. I like these bones. Alright, well let's let's go up and look at the table, get back on the blue, and check out these a little closer. Back on the table with gloom and doom? Or is that doom and gloom? Wow, these are really interesting. Still got some spiderweb going on here, and it looks like Skeleton Squirrel is also here today. I had to. These look very interesting. That they do. On the back of the boxes, untamed ferocious at your fingertips. I chomp and growl. I react to your touch. I am alive, moving head and eyes. My name is Gloom. My name is Doom. Oh, it's also in French. Je m'appelle Gloom. Je m'appelle Doom. Oh, I love French class. And I've got a lot of rough edges. Et je sois comme une secure legends. Okay, it's been too long since I've been in French class. Anyhow, let's get one of these out. I think I'm gonna work with Gloom a little more than Doom. I kinda like the lighter skeleton look and the blue eye. Don't worry, Doom, we'll get to you. I'm just kinda liking Gloom first. Well, let's open out a package. And Gloom outside of the pack. Oh, too scary. I want to say this is only my second experience with fingerlings before. I'm surprised I haven't got to them yet, especially the dinosaurs. What do we have here? Looks like there's articulation on the hands a little bit, maybe to grab your finger and with the legs as well. Although it's pretty tight, he's gonna hold on. And we've got a tail back here and the all important on off switch. So shall we go? And on we go. Now I hope we are in tamed mode and to get it into tamed mode, I think we're supposed to uh, gently pet the skull of this guy. So let's give that a try. All right, I think he seems pretty happy. I like the eyes, they open and close. That's so clever. And it seems to be genuinely happy. So there's some other things we need to do. We can tap the nose once or twice for a surprise. I like the bone clicky sounds. Tap the back of its head once, twice, or three times for a surprise. Okay, yeah. Clap once or twice for fun reactions. Wow, there's a variety of responses from this guy. Press and hold sensors on nose and back of the head for a funny surprise. Hmm, where are the sensors, by the way? There was some strange gurgly noises there. So let's try flipping upside down. It might not like that. I know there's a way to get it untamed soon. 
Oh. oh, it's so happy. Well, let's try to untame it. Either poke its nose three times, hold it upside down, or shake it. Let's try shaking it. Just kind of screams in terror. Let's try tapping the nose three times. Look, it's pretty grumpy. So that must be untamed. So there is an abundance of sound effects and tricks with these guys for sure. Seems like a good road trip toy to just drive someone mad in the driver's seat. Or maybe something to pet while watching your favorite show. Another thing Gloom and Doom do well... Besides from interrupting me, is glow in the dark. Let's test that out a little bit. Okay, let's go a little darker there. I see a little bit of glow. Actually, I see a lot of glow coming from him. And maybe this will help enhance the glow of it. Oh, this is so cool. I love this little mini flashlight, by the way. That is great. It really enhances the green on him. So both black light will help charge this up and... make gloom glow very sinister and holds its glow now whoa gloom is quite scary this side's gonna be a little dark because it hasn't been charged yet how fun we've got to bring out doom now and doom is on the table doom charged up a little bit I think gloom just fell asleep Oh, that's ferocious. They both glow green, although it looks like Doom is a little more bluish green. Funny as I open just because of the blue on Gloom's eyes. Or is that Doom? I think I could do this all day. Gloom has a much more bright body, doesn't she? But I like that blue. Hard to get blue to glow, isn't it? These two being a special reveal for 2018 Halloween boneheaded, untamed dinosaur fingerlings. Now surprisingly, I've never really had a chance to check out a regular Doom and Gloom dinosaur, this one being a T-Rex ripsaw. Let's remove from package, see how it kind of compares to the boneheads. and Ripsaw outside of the package. Oh wow, that must be a custom sound for each maybe with this dinosaur series, Ripsaw having a chainsaw-like sound. I love the clapping part, that's my favorite. It's the most easiest to activate. Let's see if we can get Ripsaw just to give him a pet. Oops. Really clever sounds throughout. I've yet to really put one of these on my finger, by the way. Kind of, they really hold on, don't they? That's so cute, I love the little chirps. And the eye opening. It's almost like they're talking to one another. Well, just a multitude of sounds and effects. You're really gonna have to play with it and figure them out over time. So now we have a special extra edition thing to take a look at. It is the Jailbreak playset with T-Rex. Let's get some of the spiderweb off so we can actually see it. Alright, after a little bit of noodling, the cage is back together. It's supposed to break out in a way and the T-Rex can escape. Please don't interrupt, Gloom.
Please don't interrupt, guys. Okay, so let's open this up. I believe we just moved this little dial down. Oh, he's a metal head. And he's escaped the confinement of the jail cell. Wonder if I can come in from this side. Looks like I can. There's our T-Rex, all in black. Let's take a minute, actually, before we go into the cage again. There it is, let's... Now we've got even more madness on the table. This is crazy. The T-Rex does not glow in the dark like the boneheads do, but the eyes and the teeth glow. It's kind of hard to tell. Well, look at there, I can even see that eye reflect the black light really well, and the teeth, obviously, in white, always reflect. You're a good t rexy There we go, he's happy. What does he do when he's mad? Some snorting and hollering. Interesting to see a T-Rex all in black with red. They kind of feel like little velociraptors. It's hard to see T-Rex in it, but it is still very dinosaur-like. Okay, back to the cage. Uh, let's see here. Looks like he kind of just sits in there like it's a amusement park ride. It is a little hard to close that door, but luckily there's letters imprinted, so just go through A, B, C, and D, and you should be okay. And really, the best part of this jailbreak kit for travel. And we have an easy carry handle for carrying all anywhere you need to go. Very entertaining, glad I got to talk to these guys for a little bit today. Looks like these guys have talked too much, so we didn't really get to bone saw yet today. A very nice, ferocious looking tiger. Perhaps I'll open him up and look at him on Instagram though. Today was all about Boneheads, Doom and Gloom, and the T-Rex jailbreak set. All right, well that turned out to be pretty awesome. I like these guys. Thank you very much to Untamed for supplying the squirrels with this great, great opportunity to look at the figurines of Untamed. That was really cool. Thank you for sponsoring this video of Terror. Now I just have to figure out how to clean up my archives. It's gonna take a while. I think what I'll do, I'll use this rib cage as a basket, and then I'll be able to put things in the rib cage to clean up very well then. That's one for the archives. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. I hope to see Bonesaw on Instagram soon. Much more is in this thing. It just keeps going. <laughs>